Welcome everyone to this eCognition Deconstructed video. Today we're gonna talk about thematic layer operation algorithms. So we're gonna have a look at how you can create thematic layers within eCognition, how you can convert different types of thematic layers and how to remove them from your project. In general, the thematic layer operation algorithms are used to transfer data from the thematic layers to image objects and also vice versa. So you can write information from your thematic layer into image objects and also the other way around. Second important point here is that you can reshape and alter your thematic layers within the cognition. So you can apply smoothing algorithms, you can do classical GIS operations like union, intersect, subtract and stuff like that. Um, that's gonna be another video. Today we're gonna focus on what I mentioned before, how to create, how to convert and how to remove or delete thematic layers from your project. The advantage of using these vector tools within the cognition right away is that you don't have to use other third-party software. Right, so you can create these GIS ready exports right away in eCognition, very smooth results. If you want to have smooth results, you can do the intersections already in eCognition, create an automated process and have your results right away. Nevertheless, today we're gonna focus on how to create, convert and remove or delete your thematic layers. For the creation, I'm gonna show you two different algorithms. One that converts image objects to vector objects. And the second one is creating thematic vector objects out of nothing. Okay. Afterwards, we're going to have a look at the conversion. So we can convert polygon vectors to line vectors. And that's what I'm also going to show you in the project. And we can convert polygons or line vectors to point vectors. And finally, I'm going to show you how you can remove or delete thematic layers that you don't want to have in your project anymore out of your project or remove polygons within your thematic layer. So not removing the whole layer, but removing the polygons, for example. Just a quick look at the algorithms that we're gonna use. So for the creation, as mentioned before, two, convert image objects to vector objects, as well as the create thematic vector object. Then we have the conversion, also two different algorithms. One is called convert polygon line vectors to point vectors. The other one is called convert polygon vectors to line vectors. And finally, remove and delete. We're gonna use the delete vector objects as well as delete layer. Um, the result's gonna be different. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Okay, let's jump into a project that I've created already. So what we have here is a four band imagery, red, green, blue, and near infrared. We have also point cloud and two vector layers already in the project. Let's have a look at the vector layer. So we have the roads as line vector and the buildings as polygons. These are our two vector layers. Then we have a point cloud. We can use that. Well, I'm going to show you uh, how to look at the point cloud in 3D. And we're also going to create a 3D vector within the cognition. And Right, we also have a classification already. I did that beforehand, so we discriminated three different classes. This one is focusing on vegetation, so I discriminated between low vegetation and trees, so elevated, and we have the boats. So I classified two boats here. Um, we're gonna use them to show you how to create thematic layers and how you can use these tools to your advantage. So first part here, create, convert, remove, delete. First section of the rule set is dealing with the creation of thematic layers. Let's have a look at this algorithm here. So we're using the convert image objects to vector objects algorithm here. The domain setting is very important. We have here class filter trees. That means we're only creating uh, vector objects based on the classification or the image objects that are classified as trees. On the right hand side, you see the parameters. First one is a thematic layer. That's the name of the output. Then if we want to override it, yes or no. Shape type, you can create polygons, lines and points with or without elevation. We're gonna go for polygons in the first try. And attributes, you can add adding features in eCognition into the attribute table. So it's gonna create, as you know it, a shape file with an attribute table and you decide which attributes are in this table. Let's see if that worked. 
turn it on, you see we have a new thematic layer here. Give it a nice color. Um, smallen the outline. That looks good. I'm gonna split the view so you s see actually that we converted our only our trees objects into a vector. And that was defined in the domain, right? That's important. And in the next step, we're gonna convert our low vegetation to a thematic layer. The only thing that I changed is class filter, low vegetation now instead of trees and the output name. And now we have again another thematic layer here in our list in the view settings. Let's change the view settings a little bit. So the colorization, give it also an orange color. Um, and that is a copy more or less of the image objects, right? But it's a thematic layer now. Right, so we have image objects that are depicting our vegetation as well as thematic layers now. Last but not least, the boats, same settings, just changed the class filter and the output name. Execute this one and then we should have also a thematic layer depicting the boats. That looks good. Let's just for fun change the output from the type from polygons to points. So you see how that looks like. I'm gonna do it for the boats, change it to points, execute it. Now you see these crosses, right? So we created points instead of polygons. Let's go back to polygons again, because that's what I want. And just one more thing I just want to show you how to create polygons with elevation. If you choose this, you have another parameter and here you set the feature that defines your elevation for your thematic layer. Um, now you don't see a change, but I'm gonna show you in the 3D view that now these polygons for the trees actually have elevation information. But let's first go to this one where we're gonna create a thematic vector object out of nothing, so we define the output name, we can create lines or points. And here I defined the starting point and the end point also with elevation, so also C value, right? And here you see the new line, I'm gonna drag it on top so you see it's overlapping, so it's hidden under, underneath our polygons here. Drag and drop it on top so you see it. And we have a 3D line, right? So I added the set value, elevation, I'm gonna display the point cloud here. And now let's have a look at the 3D viewing capabilities of recognition. Here you have it on the right hand side. So the right pane is depicting the 3D view, the left pane is depicting the 2D view from above. And zooming and panning around, you see that the 3D line is really 3D. And it's not 2D, it's not flat, it's a 3D line. And also if I display the trees, you should see that the different polygons have different heights based on the mean elevation of the NDSM that are defined as feature for the elevation, right? So now you see the in white outline the trees and they are depicted in different heights based on the NDSM value that are defined for elevation. Let's close it again and let's have a look at the next section in the rule set, the convert section, where we try to convert polygons to points or to lines as well. Um, I prepared two processes. First one will convert polygons to points. Okay, so we're looking at the buildings, that's a uh, thematic layer that I imported previously. And that's the output name that I'm gonna define. And I wanna create points based on this polygon layer. So here is the polygon layer, and here we have the points that are just created. So it's a center point for each polygon. Sometimes you want to have points, right? You could create a buffer or whatever. 
You also can create different points uh, instead of the center points. You can create points for the vertices. So each vertice of the polygon gets one point. You see it here at the corners of the buildings, you get one point. That's what this setting does. So either the center or the vertices as points. Let's go back for the, for the center point. So each polygon gets one point. Let's have a look at the next conversion. Here we convert the building's polygons into lines. And that's simply gonna convert our polygons to lines. And you'll see that we've created a thematic layer depicting the outlines. So it's not a polygon file, it's a line. And you also see it, you cannot fill it. So it's really a line, it's not a polygon. Let's jump into the last section. So we created thematic layers, we converted them. Now let's assume you want to remove them. I'm going to show you two different algorithms. First one is delete vector objects. That's going to delete the vector objects within a thematic layer. So it's not going to remove the thematic layer as you just saw. It's only removing the polygons or points or lines within that thematic layer. If you want to remove the layer from your project, you have to use the algorithm delete layer. By default, it's set to image. So you can delete image layers or thematic layers. I change it from image to thematic, execute it, uh, choose my layer that I want to remove or delete and execute it and then it's gone. The same, we want to do the same for the next layer that was the point layer for the buildings. Now I'm using delete layer, remove it. And you actually don't have to follow this order that I do. You don't have to first execute uh, delete vector objects and then delete thematic layer. If you right away want to remove the layer, just go for delete layer algorithm and then the layer is removed from your project. Okay, that was it for this video. We talked about the creation conversion and how to remove thematic layers from your project. Thank you for watching this eCognition Deconstructed video. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.